it's Kada. Welcome to June. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Today we're delving into honest, honest talk. talk. And then we'll get back to our regularly scheduled videos. So I have a plan for this month and it is not going to be easy. I've committed to a no buy June. Now before I get into why, just to clarify, no buy doesn't mean no videos. On the contrary, I have so much to show you. And that's part of the reason why I'm not going to add to it right now. Because I've barely showcased what is presently here. And I'm very excited to start paying real attention to each of my dolls and to share with you the wonderful collection that is already in my life. So, starting today, June 1st, I've decided to buy no dolls or doll items for the month of June. And see how it goes. 31 days, half. Oh good, June's only 30 days. This idea of taking a month off from buying dolls was motivated by two things. And one is, ironically, Mattel itself. Mattel has had so many new releases lately, both Playline and Collector dolls, in both Barbie and Monster High, the dolls that I collect. Because things sell out so fast, my tendency was to not even give it a second thought, to not even hesitate and just, oh my god, buy it now. And then hardly a minute would go by after getting the new doll in the mail, and then there's another release. So I was noticing that I'd get the new doll, and then I'd barely spend any time enjoying it before I'd go and buy another one. And also, after denying Monster High's third generation or G3 dolls for a long time, I just now fell in love with them. And that's where some of my overbuying has occurred. Because four years ago, when I began collecting, Monster High dolls were not on store shelves. So to see them on shelves and brand new online, it's like, <gasps> buy them now. Even Playline dolls are selling out in stores and online. So coming from someone who was late to Monster High dolls and seeing how impossible it is to find them secondhand these days or to see them listed for ridiculous amounts on eBay, I'm buying new ones now. Is that wise in the long run? Yeah, probably. But right now, it just feels frenetic. And that leads me to the second thing that encouraged me to pause. One of my favorite doll tubers, Candy, at Tiny Soul Whispers, posted a wonderfully honest video about FOMO, the fear of missing out, and how we can maybe reverse that frenetic panic with appreciation and intention. And it really resonated with me, and I recognized myself in that very much. So Candy helped open this door and inspired me to pause and take a breath. I posted her video in the description, and honestly, I think that message can be true for anything that we feel fear of missing out on. So I'll be spending this month taking the time to appreciate what I have, because I long to spend more time with these dolls. Every one of these dolls I was so excited to get, and yet I find I'm essentially replacing or disregarding every doll I have whenever I buy the next new one, especially without much thought or intention. For example, I wanted this Barbie Loves Elvis doll for ages, and I finally got her probably over a year ago on eBay. But clearly another doll then captured my attention. I don't even remember what it was, but it made me completely push her aside, and I know this because nothing has changed on this doll since pulling her out of the package, and normally I would take the time to clean a secondhand doll. And I haven't done that. Also, this Caddy Noir. I completely forgot that I even had her. It's a good thing I didn't buy her again. So, I just want to spend time with my collection, assessing it, taking care of it, sharing it with you, and really loving it. I mean, at last count, three months ago when I did some downsizing, I had 163 Barbies and Friends and 76 Monster High Dolls, and I knew there is a lot more now. 
Those are all dolls that are right here right now that I want to share with you. Like maybe all my Barbie Looks dolls, all my Mycene dolls, maybe my top 10 favorite dolls, all my doll cases, all my play sets, maybe how I organize shoes, maybe another doll room overhaul, and all my Cleo Denial dolls, which actually, there's still some G3 ones that I need to unbox. And so much more to talk about. I mean, there will never be any shortage of great dolls to get that have ever existed, and I will never have them all. But I get my greatest inspiration from fellow doll collectors to help align my own collection. One thing Candy said that I really loved was, as being friends and members of the doll community, we get to enjoy seeing each other's dolls almost as if they were our own. Like, maybe instead of feeling envious or, I need that too, just allow my connection with my doll friends to be a way of sharing in that delight by vicariously enjoying the doll with them. And I know you're saying, Kata, that's cheesy, whatever. And yeah, maybe it is. But for me, when I'm focusing on intention, that means not making decisions out of frenzy or urgency, but putting concerted thought into how that doll would enhance my collection. And if, then today, I decide that I do really value that doll, like uniquely from my others, then allowing myself to buy it is great. But the idea is not to purchase purely out of being pressured or FOMO. Granted, I mean, this is ideally the goal in a perfect world, because honestly, what if some amazing collector doll is released during my no buy month? What am I gonna do then? Well, it'll just have to be an it depends situation, but leaning towards no. I certainly don't wanna miss out on that, see? Uh-huh. But I don't wanna miss out on some timeless doll that I'll never see again, right? Like at a reasonable price, not some crazy marked up scalped price on eBay, but just another such and such release, then no. And I'm definitely not going to be shopping on eBay or go looking for things to buy in stores or elsewhere during the month of June. Gifts, however, don't count. My husband is the king of amazing doll finds with no prompting from me, seriously. So I will always happily accept those and others where someone goes, Kata, I got this for you. In fact, after I post this video, I'm going to film this unbelievable estate haul that husband just brought home yesterday. I just wanted to make this no buy video its own thing so as not to mix messages in one video. Especially when I'm saying I'm not buying stuff for the month of June. So, can I do it? Can I go one month without purchasing a new doll or a doll item? And yeah, actually I feel that yeah, I can. I really do feel like I'm ready to do this because I'm super excited to dive in the archives, as it were, of my own collection and spend more time reappreciating the dolls that I have and reliving that first excitement of when that doll came home to me. So come along with me for the month of June to see if I can make it <laughs> and also to share in my wonderful collection of dolls that deserve some time in the spotlight. And let me know if maybe you're thinking about joining me in this endeavor. Otherwise, I'm gonna be living vicariously through you guys and your new purchases. <laughs> okay, so stay tuned for my next video, which should hopefully be posted tomorrow or the next day, showcasing this unbelievable vintage doll haul that husband picked up yesterday at an unbelievable price. Thanks so much for being here, and I'll see you shortly. Bye. Then the day, you can't let her get to you, cause then the day, that's what she wants then the day. <laughs>